Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Peep Squad is in a building, baby. We going to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of Notification Squad. Peep Squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. So let's get it popping. Let's get it cracking, lacking. Let's talk about Medina from growing up hip hop. And also, you know, she's getting at her baby father case because she feels like he is a deadbeat and he does not deserve any attention that he is receiving. And also... Miss Medina, she came at Bad Baby, basically letting her know you need to keep little Kim name out your mouth because you was begging for a handout, baby, and we turned the door on you. And little Kim co-signed what Medina did say. So we're going to get into all that. We're going to get into little Kim, Bad Baby, Case. It is what it is. So let's just get into the situation. Let's get it popping, baby. So what's good? Make sure you please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It's all good. So let's just start off. So you know Medina, she's on Growing Up Hip Hop. And she's feeling a certain type of way about her baby daddy case. She's not feeling what he's doing, how he's out here acting and behaving. And she does not like the praise that he's getting at all for his song Happy Ever After Anniversary. And people on his Instagram showing him love. And she was like, I'm tired of these people praising this deadbeat man. This man ain't nothing but a deadbeat and y'all out here praising him. So she's feeling a certain type of way. And she's She's letting them be known and a lot of people saying she's missing them growing up hip-hop checks so she gonna do what she gotta do i don't know but maybe she's mad because she wants our five hundred thousand dollars you know what i'm saying she's been out here hustling and grinding and doing what she gotta do to stay relevant doing what she gotta do to put the food on the table and take care of her kids and she wants this man to be a part of you know with the finance so this is Case Instagram and basically people are praising him. He got comments after comments showing him love because it's his 21st anniversary today and he's grateful and he's happy and everything else like that. And Medina said, what about your children? What about your kids, fool? And he's just like, okay, I'm going to respond to you. And he does. Case does respond to Medina. Then Medina takes it to Instagram and she goes off. Check it out. So I just noticed everyone's commemorating my baby daddy for 20 21 years for his happily ever after video with Beyonce in it and the happily ever after um um album with touch me tease me and faded pictures why don't y'all tell that fucking bum ass to pay his child support why don't you tell him that he owes me over five hundred thousand dollars you know why because he's never paid child support a day in his life and you know what I used to send my son out there and I used to pay for it the last straw when my son was 11 years old I called my son it was his birthday he wanted to go see his dad I called him on his birthday I'm like hey baby what you doing oh i'm in the store with my dad he's buying golf clubs he's buying golf clubs so i call his bum ass i'm like you buying golf clubs you ain't even buy nothing for your son he's like i asked him he don't want nothing he don't want nothing let me tell you something i want all mines i'm coming for all mines i'm posting paperwork and all that shit i don't give a fuck what you what, hey, don't hit my line don't do none of that to keep your ass out of jail all right so there you have it medina is on one she's feeling a certain type of way and she ain't liking the situation whatsoever and she ain't happy about it so i was like mm, mm, mm. so it is what it is and then these are the documents you guys can go check out the jasmine brand the court documents where she is owed five hundred thousand dollars and some change baby and she's basically feeling like you know her kids are important her son is important and case has not Step up to the plate, but we don't know the situation between Case, why he not paying his child support, what's going on, what's happening, what's going on with that situation. But basically, you know, she's here to tell people you need to stop praising this man because this man ain't did what he's supposed to do. And he's out here getting all the glory and everything else like that when he don't deserve it because a man that don't take care of their child ain't a man. And that's just how she's feeling. And that's just what she's saying about the situation. So you guys tell me how you feel about the situation. I was like, Lord have mercy. Medina's going in. She's like feeling a certain type of way. And she was like, this man better pay me my money. He better pay me my money now. I want it ASAP. That's what the situation needs to be. That's what she's saying out here. And then she posts a story to her Instagram. She posts, you know, he owes me money for real, for real. And then we got Case. Basically, Case is like, yo, listen. It is what it is. Pay your child support, man. Don't be a deadbeat out here. But I don't know if he even got the money. I don't know if he got $500,000 to pay Medina. You know, I don't know what's the deal. I don't know the relationship with him and his child or his son or whatever. But, you know, he's MIA out here in these streets when it comes to paying the child support. And Medina's out here upset. And then Case... 
he responded and basically he used this meme you know what i mean basically saying he, you know whatever you want <laughs> i can't argue with you no you mad look at you you mad you big man <laughs> So right there you have, you know, um, that's case response. Basically, he's saying, you mad. Who is you? Who is going to argue with you? I ain't got time. I got other things going on. I'm happy you upset. And then, you know, people are in case comments basically saying, oh, Medina needs them growing up hip hop checks. You know, she just wants the check that is supposed to be coming to her. And that's her child support check. So you guys tell me what you think about it. So case responded and basically saying, you mad. I ain't going to argue with you. I'm happy over here. I'm going to do my thing. So it is what it is. Tell me what you guys think about that situation. Then Medina was feeling a certain type of way about bad baby coming in a picture and using little Kim as an example of basically trying to promote her, you know, racism and hatefulness and, you know, culture vulture type of situation. And, you know, we don't give bad baby no props over here, but this is just a part of the story. So let's just get into it. Danielle, you are very disrespectful. You trying to come for my little sister is not cool. Okay. Let me explain something to you. Kim is the Michael Jordan of the rap game. Period. When it comes to females, she's not going to respond to you. Why don't you tell the people how you came to the house in L.A. looking for her to co-sign you, looking for her to put you on? OK, we didn't even come out of the room to have no meeting with you. However, when you left, yeah, we had a meeting about you. We was feeling your little music and all that. But Kim Spidey senses was on point because you winded up being very disrespectful. Age has nothing to do with that. And believe you me, you come knocking on these doors. Ain't no come outside. You're going to be dragged inside like Sonny from Bronx Tales. And trust and believe we got little wolves your age. Baby wolves, my nieces, my daughter, all of them. But we don't want no trouble with you. You know why? Because you are a little girl. However, However, your apology was whack and your reasoning is even whacker. So there you have it. Medina basically saying what she had to say in her encounters with Bad Baby and she doesn't appreciate Bad Baby out here talking the smack that she's talking and you can see when she posted the video, Little Kim came through. The king, the queen bee came through. You want to rumble with that bee, huh? Eat my mm -mm, right. Look at over. You look at you over there staring at me. So basically, Little Kim, she jumped in the comment section and she was like, "I love you, sis. Yes, thank you, sis, for coming through. Thank you, sis, for saying what you needed to say. Because right now, you know, Little Kim don't respond to people like that. Little Kim don't be out here in the beef. Little Kim, if she's in any beef, it's real beef. She don't be playing around. You know what I mean?" So anyways, little Kim said, I love you, sis. Basically saying, I love you, sis, right in the comment section with the heart emoji, the kitty cat with the eyes, with the heart eyes and the lips basically telling you, I, I mess with you and everything that you said in this video is correct. And I'm co-signing it all day and every day. You my girl, Medina. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for saying what you said, because you know, I'm going to ignore a girl, a little kid like that, baby. You know what I mean? Because I was totally disrespect and you don't disrespect royalty, even though we know little Kim done change you know she looks different and everything else like that but we don't know the reason why we we all thought little kim looked beautiful and she's gorgeous and she's magnificent she was wonderful her looks was on point too as well and she can rap and she rapped after you know biggie done passed away r.i.p knowing because people used to accuse her of having biggie writing her lyrics but she showed the world that she could write her own lyrics and she's a contender and she is a female legend artist rapper whatever beat that she got out here in these streets she got it out here in these streets or whatever but ain't nobody like bad baby coming for the legend and we gonna co-sign you can say whatever you want to say bad baby keep little kim name out your mouth you know what i mean she changed she looks different we don't know what the industry done done to her because now we're hearing all the stories about the industry what these women go go through especially the colorism especially the color of your skin you know we even had sukiana talk about you know what she had to do being a dark-skinned woman and k million and the rest of the ladies talked about you know how the industry don't accept you when you dark skin and things like that and sometimes you know it is what it is things can happen and we don't know her mental aspects and you know her mental capacity at the time and how she felt and you know holding on to you know the industry and being in the industry and being taken serious and having the lyrics but basically 
being shunned because of the color of her skin and everything else like that. Things done changed. Things done went differently. And then seeing, you know, light-skinned women make it only because the industry put them up there for them to make it and then being your color and your complexion and being shitted on so you know we don't understand you know what she was going through at the time and who was in her ear and what she was facing where you know we seen the change of little kim from a decade to the next decade but it is what it is so you guys tell me what you think about the situation i was like lord have mercy the situation is serious it's going down so you guys tell me what you think about the situation with little Kim co-signing, you know, Medina basically stepping up to, you know, bad baby and letting her know, keep our name out your mouth and you came for a handout. Don't talk about me. You know, we got to stay on code sometimes, even though somebody might be making a point, but we got to stay on code and support each other, baby. So what do you guys think about the situation? What do you think about Medina calling out Case and Case responding? basically replies <laughs> you tell me what you think peace i'm out much love